This is a tribute to a retired Lieutenant Colonel Muema of the Kenya Defense Forces. As I record this, Lieutenant Colonel Muema was in the mortuary. He'll be buried in a few days' time. We have a lot in common and I know a lot about him. I, we, do not, we did not know each other, but I'll be shocked if he didn't know a lot about me. When Charity Ngil was the Minister for Water, she appointed him as the chairman of Kenya Water Institute. He was sacked in 1992 by Moi for being perceived to be a member of the Democratic Party of Kenya, headed by Mwai Wakibaki. I was also sacked at the same time from the police force in the rank of inspector for being perceived to be a sympathetic to Emilio Mwai Wakibaki and the Democratic Party of Kenya. It is not about me, it is about him. Uh, the reason why he was sacked, his father had a, a plot. Now whether he bought the plot for his father or not, but you see even if he bought the plot for his father, he bought and surrendered it to his father. Or alternatively, the father buy, bought it. Now, the father had uh, a plot in Ukambani, and when multi party came, the father took, uh, the father had a business in the plot, shop, blah, blah, blah. And this is a plot that was uh, something like uh, 50 by 100. So he had a, a few shops here, maybe tailoring shops, something like that. But when multi-party started, the father uh, terminated the tenancy of his uh, clients and turned the old place as a Democratic Party of Kenya uh, area office. I'll come to that when the uh, party started, but I'll let me continue first of all with the uh, Lieutenant Colonel Muema. And so uh, the father was, uh, you know, before 1992, there used to be only one political party, Kanu. So he was a, an official of Kanu, but suddenly took his shop, painted the DP color, and installed himself as a regional uh, DP officer. That one will continue. At that time when he was doing that, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Muema was in Pakistan. He was in Pakistan in an exchange program with the Pakistan military. Now what happens is just like any other field or even education, uh, where you find, let's say the Kenya army takes out uh, a hundred military people of various ranks and seconds them to the Pakistan government. And the Pakistan government takes an equal number and brings them back to Kenya. So that, I don't know which part I can tell you, but uh, take an example of, let's say, uh, you are in charge of sentry at the gate at Langata. So you are taken to another barrack in Pakistan where you do the same job and then when you come you know you can compare the two and a colleague of yours who is also uh, doing the same can come to Langata, guard it there and see how Kenyan guards their gates and go back. There are those who, the, who are in the radio room sending signals, sending whatever. There are those cooks who cook there are those doctors. The army has so many 
different fields. So you are taken to another army where you do the same job as you do here so that you have experience of more than. So Lieutenant Colonel Mwema was sent to Pakistan on that during that time. When he came back to Kenya, a week after he came back to Kenya, and probably he had even not gone to Ashago to see whether the building had been painted uh, DP colors, he was summarily dismissed from the military. <laughs> what were the charges? He was charged that uh, on such and such a day, he had been, he had absconded duty. You did not report to your uh, battalion headquarters on this and this day. And he told them, but I was seconded to the Pakistan army. But you know, during Moist time, a decision is made, and things just happen that way. Uh, during Kibaki's time, a lot of people have told me, why don't you take the case to, your case to courts? Uh, he took the military to the courts, and the, mili and the courts ordered the military during Kibaki's time that he be reinstated. He took that reinstatement letter to the army and he was stopped at the gate. He did not even enter and he did not serve them the letters. He took back the letter to the court and said you had ordered that I be rein that my sacking was null and void and that I should be reinstated in the former rank. What do we do? And then, uh, and you see, these things don't take uh, a few minutes the way I'm explaining. They take years. Uh, after fighting that for over 15 years, the government was supposed to pay him millions of shillings. He has died without getting the millions of shillings. Maybe his children would get the millions of shillings. Why am I saying his children? Uh, by the time the case was concluded he was divorced uh, how does it come up to me there is a time when uh, as I said the courts decided that uh, the Kenya government has to pay him millions of shillings there was a German woman from Bochum a place called Bochum who was in Kenya and all the TV channels who are talking about left and canal Mwema. She went back to Bochum in Germany where she met my sister, my immediate follower. My immediate follower who is 20 months younger than me. Same mother, same father. She's, she, she's now in Frankfurt at the time of recording this, but at that time she was in Bochum. So she met a stranger and she was being told this stranger was from Kenya the other time, so she went and asked the German woman, what are you hearing about in Kenya? And she was told uh, there is a senior Askari who was a member of the Democratic Party of Kenya who was unfairly sacked and he has been reinstated and the government has to pay him millions of shillings. It took less than 45, uh, correction, it took less than one day for my sister, my follower, to book a plane to Kenya. She came, she came to Kenya expecting maybe I'll be in a press conference where everybody will. That is what happens. When, when you are successful, people can come from Atlantica to be near you. Uh, when she came back to Kenya, she found me staying in a house, 10 by 10 Mabati, and she left, giving me a Panaroid camera. If you can remember Panaroid camera, ile na piga piche na tuasa hiyo hiyo. Lastly, uh, I, was, I had said that uh, Mwema's father had painted the... You know, when parties start, especially those days, even today, you start a new party, and people suspect that either countrywide or in the region that you are in, that party, because the party is associated with so-and-so, and, so, and that person has a political clout in your area, you rush and open offices and grant yourself 
uh, branch chairman or regional chairman, such things. So that when now those things are being uh, negotiated, since you had offered your building and you have offered uh, or even you have rented offices and you interim officials are not elected and then you use that as a stepping stone to political uh, advancement and that is my tribute to lieutenant colonel retired now the late Mwema.